Welcome to San Francisco. We're going to be playing the 49ers at San Fran. And you can see that stadium there. They are loaded. The 49ers have a chance of making the playoffs. I'm here looking to ruin that chance for them and try to take it for myself. I'm really hoping that we can take them out. We'll be one game behind them. And that would be one less team we might have to worry about in the postseason seeing if they lose another one but it, I really want to make the postseason it's gonna be tough but if we have a chance at all we're gonna have to win out so let's get it started here in San Francisco we learned that the 49ers defense is no joke especially from two weeks ago when they got the better of us at Seattle now we're gonna look to do the same to them at San Fran as Rashad Penny gets a decent gain on his first carry Rashad Penny near that thousand yard mark as a rookie that's got to be your goal as a running back rookie coming into the league and he should be able to hit it this game as he's gonna fight there and I think he picks up the first well as you can see in the bottom there Green Bay won which is very bad for me because they're one of the only teams that are looking to make the wild card that beat me. so that's very unfortunate to say the least as I'm gonna fire here and we're going to hit Brandon Marshall for a nice gain there. One thing I am excited for for next season is to make my own playbook. Because I'm really excited to be able to really build my offense how I want it. Especially going through free agency and stuff. As Rashad Penny is getting off to a nasty start here. Rashad Penny on his last carry just went over a thousand yards on the season. Which is a huge statement for him as Russell Wilson gets sacked by a Tachu there. And that's going to back up Seattle. Seattle has had offensive line woes the whole season. Definitely going to be something I target in free agency or such. And we're going to fire to the net. But it gets broken up and he can't haul it in. I expect the 49ers to play hard because they definitely are in position to make the playoffs. I'm pretty sure... If the playoffs started now, they would be a wild card team. So keep that in mind as Kyle Hushek gets the ball and breaks a tackle. And that's their fullback. Can Cam Chancellor catch him? He breaks the tackle. And Hushek goes the distance. Get the hell out of here, bro. Their fullback outruns Chancellor. That's insane. Oh, that last play is a uh, was embarrassing to say the least. I mean, I I, I just don't want to talk about it. All right, you know, just forget that happened. You know, just forget it happened. That's all I need you to do. As I'm gonna fire here, and Lockett's gonna come up with it. What a dart by Russell Wilson. You guys know I love this halfback route here. Rashad Penny's really coming into his own as a receiver, to be honest. He's pretty good. Because I'm going to float him the ball here, and he's got some room. Tries to hurdle, but gets stood up. But still, the damage was done. Third and seven here. I would love to be able to pick this up. Love to, as I'm just going to have to chuck it down to Rashad Penny, who gets hit there and is not near the first. Let's see if Janikowski still has it. Ooh, and that wasn't looking good to start off, but we hit it, and it's going to be a 3-7 ball game here early at San Fran. So the 49ers do have Marquise Goodwin, and I'm going to have to double cover him be just because of the speed he has, as they have Jarek McKinnon here, and he's a speedy running back as well. Now it's going to bring up a third and five here for San Fran. Garoppolo in the gun. Let's see what he can do. He has a little bit of time, and he just throws it away smartly as he was about to get sacked, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Yeah, this 49er defensive line is monstrous with Solomon Thomas, DeForest Buckner, and some other names as well. I mean, the defensive line is pretty good, as I'm just going to have to run for it with Wilson. Finally, the time runs out, and he gets a few. Should have ran for it way before that. Second and six. 49ers looking to send a little pressure here as Rashad Penny breaks out into open field. We know how fast he is. Oh, if Tyler Lockett would have got there a little faster, that would have broke for a touchdown, but still a great game by Penny. 
the old rivalry matchup. Baldwin is matched up with Sherman, which should be a fun matchup to watch. As Baldwin gets the better of that matchup that time and beats Sherman on the comeback route. Second and long here for Seattle. And I'm just going to dump it off to Baldwin here in the slot. And he's going to be close to a first down. To be honest, I'm kind of going to target Sherman with some of my faster receivers because he, Sherman isn't the fastest corner. So I feel like I can take advantage of that as Jeremy Hill is going to be able to pick up the first down here and more. 49ers showing a cover four look here. And they drop back. And I'm just going to have to roll out. And this is very bad. I didn't want to throw it away because I thought I got sacked. And that's going to be a huge loss. Atachi with another sack. Third and very long. So I'd be surprised as I'm going to fire it deep here. Marshall has a step. And he comes up with it. And take a look here. Marshall getting a step here. And then Russell Wilson perfectly placing it. And Marshall gets dragged down near the two-yard line. Man, what a throw by Wilson. That was nasty I really would love to run it in here with Penny I want to win that offensive rookie of the year with him and he gets the TT and we are gonna be up probably by three if we can hit this PAT here so after that score by Penny the 49ers are gonna have to try to answer back here and they're gonna line up very tight let's see if they hand it off here and they hand it off to McKinnon who had a little open hole there, and I thought that could have went for more. I definitely want to start sending more pressure at Jimmy G and see if he can hold up to it as he gets drilled there. And I mean drilled. Third and long here for the 49ers. Let's see if they can convert it as they're going to fire it. And Cam Chancellor doesn't even turn around. And Trent Taylor comes up with the grab. Second and 12. Garoppolo under center, play actions it, and he's got a fire, and he's got it wide open under the seam. But Cam Chancellor delivering a monstrous hit. When we go against a decent quarterback, we struggle. We really do struggle. As McKinnon here breaks a few tackles and is able to get a few yards on that. Third and six. Let's see what they try to do here as he's going to fire it out of the end zone. And I think that might have been catchable if he threw it a little more into the end zone there. But it's going to be a fourth down. San Fran's going to go for a field goal. And they nail it to make it a 10-10 game. And we're all knotted up here in the second. I really feel like we should start throwing the ball deep a lot more. We have the receivers for it. Marshall's going to be a good guy. Especially Lockett's going to be good deep. Right here, I'm just going to have to scramble though. Because there is nobody open. And that's going to be near a first down again for Seattle. Third and four here. Let's see if Seattle can pick it up. And I'm going to fire to Baldwin. And he got it. And he broke a tackle. And picks up more than the first down. Russell Wilson playing well so far. Yeah, Dwayne Brown is in a contract year. I don't know if I'm going to extend it to be honest. His play has not been good really at all. As I'm going to fire it deep here down the post. And it gets broken up. Usually Marshall can come up with those contested catches like that. Another third and long for Seattle. Let's see what they can pull up here. A very tough play against San Fran's defense. Russell Wilson's going to keep it. And he's going to take contact that he probably shouldn't have. And Seattle is not going anywhere. They're going to stay on the field on fourth down. And they're going to run it with Penny who has it easily. And picks up more than just the first and he's having a game so far. New set it down after converting that fourth down conversion for Seattle. As I'm just going to pass it here to Lockett. And we know his speed. Look at that. I mean, that's just a little drag route. He is so fast. Second and short here. Seattle's just going to roll out. And I'm going to fire to a wide open tight end. Who's going to get some good yards there. Nick Vanetto injured again. That's his second injury of the year, and that could be a costly one. He stepped up of late. Vanette only had bruised ribs, so it's not going to be a big injury. So I am going to substitute him out, though, because I do not want to get him injured. Oh, and Rashad Penny's injured. That could be huge. That could be huge. 
I mean, I haven't messed with the injury ratings at all. It, this just is some weird thing here. I've had like three injuries. If Rashad Penny's hurt, that's bad. I mean, that really is very bad for me. As I'm going to have to roll out here and I miss Baldwin there who was open. Knee cartilage tear? Oh, God. Penny's out. Penny is out. I mean, there's no other way to put it. That's a devastating loss. Losing Rashad Penny there is a devastating loss. It really is. And I can't believe he's he's got a cartilage tear. I mean, that's very bad. Third and long for the 49ers, and they're going to run it with Jarek McKinnon, who gets hit for a loss. So J.D. McKessick is going to come into the game now without Penny after being injured. And we're going to be in a hurry-up mode here because the game is winding down here in the second quarter. So I'm going to see if I can get some yards. Going to try a little screen pass. Don't know how I like it. And we're not going to get much. San Fran doesn't call a timeout, though. Letting the clock wind down a little bit here. As I'm going to try to pick this up. I don't know how I like it, but we do hit Darbaugh, who picks it up. And I'm going to call a timeout. First and 10 here, trying to score before half. And 49ers get a pass rush, and Russell Wilson gets sacked. And I'm just going to let the clock run out here. Don't want to get any unnecessary contact here on Wilson. And we're going to head into half. So that's a really rough first half for us. We are up, but the loss of Rashad Penny is going to hurt very bad. Knee cartilage tear. I would suspect he's going to be out definitely for the whole year. Maybe a little of next. And we oh, that's tough. That really is tough, but... Our offense is moving well, and but the 49ers' offense is moving well too. So let's see what happens in the third quarter. I definitely feel like we do need to keep the running backs contained because that's really what's hurt us so far. As you can see here, they, they like to utilize that outside run, and it doesn't seem to work out for them as good as they would hope for. I always like to test these young quarterbacks and see how they can deal with the blitz. Let's see what Jimmy G does here. I'm going to send a mid blitz, and he's going to fire. And that was a well response by him. And that, I mean, it's great that that wasn't a first down, but it really should have been. He made a really good read under pressure there. Well, thankfully, we do have some running backs that can hold their own. Chris Carson, uh, Jeremy Hill, they're going to be decent options. There are no Rashad Penny, but that's, ooh, that could have nearly been intercepted, and I am very lucky. Was it last year Chris Carson got injured? I'm pretty sure it was. He had a pretty decent year going. So let's see if he can return to that form here as there is just no... Oh, and now Chris Carson is injured. And he's grabbing onto his leg. What is going on? I mean, this is starting to get out of hand for real. You got, I haven't changed the injury slider. It's been the same, and you've seen how little injuries we've had. That's, that's outrageous. Two running backs... Jeremy Hill's going to pick it up. Hopefully this isn't a severe injury, though, for Carson. Foot fracture. Man, it, it must just be one of those games where what's going wrong is just going wrong. In a big way. As San Fran really gets some pressure, and thankfully Wilson didn't get hurt on that play. Third and real long for Seattle. Let's go ahead and see what we can get done here. Oh, as Russell Wilson's going to get taken down by Buckner again. So Seattle's offense is greatly unimproved after losing Rashad Penny and Chris Carson. That's devastating losses, and they're both going to be long-term. Third and nine here for Jimmy Garoppolo. And he's got all day, and he's going to find Goodwin over the middle there for a nice gain, and that's going to pick him up a new set of downs. Well, I mean, I keep on thinking the worst about these injuries we've had, but at least we have Russell Wilson, you know, knock on wood, because uh, he's the most important player on our team by far, but still, as Garcon dives for that and catches it, what a catch by Garcon, his best grab of the day. And now the 49ers are putting on a death march here. They keep on marching down the field. 
Hoping to be able to get a stop here, maybe. Play action it. You know Garoppolo loves these. He hits Kittle on the wheel route. And he's going to go. Beating KJ Wright. Garoppolo fires a dart in there. That's going to be a 45-yard touchdown. And the 49ers take the lead. Now, I mean, I was pretty confident in our running game, but I'm a bit worried. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if Jeremy Hill can prove me wrong, though. We picked him up pretty early in the season. Let's see if he can come up here. Second and five. 49ers showing like they're going to back off a little bit as I'm just going to hit my tight end, Vanette, here and try to get a decent gain. And he gets about 11 there. Russell Wilson has played well this game. After a holding penalty there, it's going to back us up for a tough conversion that we're going to have to try. I'm just going to throw it deep. See if we can make a play, and it's intercepted. Marshall didn't even go for it. And the 49ers get the ball back. Akilo Witherspoon with the interception. It's going to be first and 10 here for the 49ers taking over. After a turnover, ooh, and that was dangerously close to being intercepted there. And it gets broken up. A third and short here. Garoppolo in the gun. He's going to fire it, and it's nearly intercepted. Intended for Trent Taylor in a nice breakup. We just need to get some more interceptions on those kind of plays. I mean, if I'm being honest, I really would love to call a lot more play action. I'm going to try it here, but... The 49ers can secure the edge so well, it's really tough. It really is. As I'm going to hit it here, can you possession it? Oh, that's that was close. I think he might have had that. Third and five, Hill is in the game, and we're going to hand it off. He's going to have the first down and more. Jeremy Hill showing that he can still run the ball after the two devastating injuries we've had. Second and eight. I'm going to line up empty here. Let's see what happens. Marshall's going to be open. And he's going to fight forward. And he gets the first down. All right. First and ten here. Going to try a little tricky play here. And I'm going to hand it off to Hill. He's going to truck over some people. And get a good gain. Jeremy Hill showing he is going to be ferocious in the run game. Man, this game is going pretty fast, isn't it? It's going to be a... First and 10 here, lining up tight, but we're not going to get it. Just throw it away. Oh, and Russell Wilson gets taken down. I tried to throw it away there, but we get sacked by Solomon Thomas. Second and 20. Pretty sure this may be man coverage, but I'm going to find Baldwin who finds an opening in that coverage there. Pretty sure it was not man. Third and five, pretty big play. Considering we're down here late in the fourth. And I think Marshall got that. Did he get it? Oh, it's going to be fourth and in inches. You know what we're going to do here. We're going to see if Jeremy Hill can prove himself right here. Can he pick the first up late in a very tight game? And he picks it up. Powers his way forward. Lining up tight here in the gun. Going to see what we can do as I'm going to try to hit Baldwin. And Richard Sherman wins that battle. 1-1, one, one, I would say. Third and long. Going to be a tough play to try and convert this. As I'm going to fire it and it's intercepted by Ruben Foster with the pick. Oh, man. I should have high-passed that or lobbed it. I did have him open. That's a tough one. As you can see here, just bulleted it and that's completely on me there really needed to lob that and that's going to be my bad new set of downs here for the 49ers they're going to go play action and they're going to go deep they're going to go to garcon who pulls it in garcon showing off his speed second and short and they're going to hand it off to mckinnon he's going to slip a tackle and he's going to go Touchdown 49ers late, and that hurts. Two scores down now in the fourth. All right, I need to take a deep breath here. All right, I've been in this situation many times already in this franchise. Trailing late in the fourth. We know we can pull it out. We're just going to have to play smart football. So I'm just going to toss it underneath here to lock it. 
and we just keep on getting these gains, I feel like we can score, and I feel like we got a chance. We just cannot cause a turnover. Other than that, I feel like we should be good. I can completely rely on Russell Wilson as we hit Vanette here for another nice game. New set of downs here. Let's try to play smart as I'm on a fire. Oh, no. You got to get that off, bro. I had him. I think. Oh, damn. That's that's a. Mm. Well, after that sack, we're in a real bad spot, to be honest. I mean, really bad. This 49ers pass rush is nasty. Please get it off to him. And we hit the comeback route. That's definitely a great throw there by Wilson on the run. And pressure in his face, too. Third and five here. Big play. Big play. As I'm going to scramble for it with Wilson and slide down so no contact is taken. 49ers showing blitz here. Let's see if they send it. They don't. They send four, but they're still getting pressure. And that's, that's never good. When you only can send four and get really good pressure, that's tough to defend against. If we get a field goal, it will be an eight-point game. So keep that in mind as well, too, as we get stopped here. And I don't think we're in field goal range. It says we are. Big play here. Big play. Let's see if we can nail it. That's going to be close. And we hit it, making it a one-possession game here late. All right, it's only a one-possession game. We can calm down a little bit here. Just, just try to stop the 49ers before they get rolling. Because we know once they get rolling, they're tough to stop. I mean, look at that. That is a dart there. And Frank Clark comes off the field with an injury. What is happening? I mean, for real, like, what is actually happening right here to me? It's like our whole team is just going downhill as he's going to outrun double coverage. Marquise Goodwin. Oh, Jesus. I double covered him. That's the speed he has. Double covered and outruns it. Cam Chancellor was on him as well. And that's a... That's what you really do call a dagger right there. Right in the heart. Two possessions down again here late. We're going to have to have something happen. As I'm just going to have to take a shot deep to lock it. And that gets broken up immediately. Third and ten. We got to pick it up. We got to. That's our only option here. Picking it up. As I'm going to run it with Wilson. And he fumbles the ball. Does he keep it? He does. And he gets fourth and inches? They didn't give us the first down, which is a questionable spot to say the least. Let's go ahead and see if we can sneak this, though, and we do. We're going to have to get up, though, and go really fast. Clock is winding down. We need a touchdown, and we need it in a big way. And I do mean a huge way we need it. Because I'm just going to take a shot here. Oh, he broke off his guy. It was man coverage. That probably was a touchdown. Second and ten. We need it badly. We need it. As I'm just going to have to fire it here. And that's pass interference, I believe. Flag down. Big call here. Pass interference. And it is. We're going to get the first. We need this, bro. We need a touchdown badly. Oh, and it's intercepted. Ruben Foster with his second. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's our season. It really is. So it's going to be a third and 14. I guess we still, I mean, we have a chance, a punching chance here. It's still not looking good. Garoppolo has all day in the pocket, and he's going to hit McKinnon underneath, who bounces off a few, and they'll likely just let this run to the two-minute warning. Well, we have all three timeouts, so if we can score, I guess I could save these timeouts and see what happens. But let's see what we're going to be able to do here. As I'm going to fire, and Doug Baldwin might be open. He hangs on to it. We're going to have to go hurry up mode very fast. And I do mean extremely fast here. Send everybody out. Send everybody out. Snap the ball. And Baldwin's going to... Oh, that's nearly intercepted. Oh, man. Fourth and 14. It's definitely not looking good as I'm going to have to get outside the pocket with Wilson and throw it. And he gets the ball. And Baldwin is able to get out of bounds. We need a touchdown fast if we really do want a chance. We got to get one. As I'm just going to toss it deep here and it's intercepted again. 
I had to I had to throw it deep. I really did. I had no other choice and now the game is going to be over. And so is our season most likely. And that's going to be the game here in San Fran. The 49ers had a really good game plan. They attacked us vertically with passing and then their run game was pretty decent as well. Garoppolo played really good. And that's a stinging loss. It, I mean, to be honest, after we lost Rashad Penny, our offense looked stale. It really did. And then after we lost Chris Carson, we just did not look any kind of what we looked like in the first half. Devastating loss. Playoff hopes are pretty much down the drain because 8-8 eight eight is not going to get you in the playoffs in the NFC. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's really what I have to say about that. That's, that's a real tough loss. I'll see you guys next episode, though. And if you guys are enjoying, make sure you do hit that sub button. We're getting close to the off season, so even if this season is over, we still have to draft some people and get ready for next season because I feel like next season we could make a run. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next Seahawks franchise episode. Peace out.